This is the Kohler Jaru Jaro. I don't know. They sell this at Costco. And I have searched and searched. I've been on the Kohler website. I've searched the internet. There's no information about this toilet. And maybe it was made specifically for Costco. Or maybe it's discontinued. I don't know, but I can't find any information about it. But it has a unique type of installation. And today we're going to show you how we're going to install this toilet in an older house. Uh, so there's something interesting right away that you'll find that's a little bit different to most people who've done toilets before. And it's this offset flange. As we open this up, you'll see that what happens is this, you put the wax ring there and this mounts to the floor. And then this is going to come up through the back. So that's a little bit different. We're going to start with this. And then we're going to show you not only how the toilet goes in, but how it functions. Because I've searched the internet and I couldn't find any information about how it works. Laying out the parts for this offset flange, it talks about you want to have 12 inches away from the wall from the stud here. So this tight little corner that we have, you'll see I've got exactly just under 12 inches. And hopefully that makes board isn't a problem. Probably this is the issue they're talking about. This thing mounts. It does have the ability to add an extra hole or an extra screw stud for movement, but I don't think we're gonna need that. We're gonna get this mounted in there. You're adding an additional P-trap. I'm hoping, hoping that this doesn't cause any kind of future problem with clogging. Okay, so I've assembled this as the instructions say. Before and There's no nuts that go here. They just give you these plastic retainers, but there are nuts here. We need to tighten those. And so basically that sits on top. And then once the toilet's in place, the reason these are kind of rounded the way they are is they go in like this and they have to find their way in. Oh, okay. Right? And then you just have to hope this works. There we go. And then it will pull itself in. And then that's what holds the toilet uh, to this bracket. I'm not sure where these go. Let's see, change my page. But these go somewhere. I don't know. Um, I'll figure that out. Where did my instructions go? We have those two. I don't know what's up with those two black uh, bushings. But they go someplace. I don't know what that is either. It's that's that, that's part of uh, the remote. Oh. So I don't see anywhere. I don't understand. This where, is the holder for the remote. I, I don't know where those black bushings. Maybe they just go into the side of the toilet. Maybe that's what it is. They just go in. That's These just go into the side of the toilet, and then these little caps snap in there. That's yep, all those yep, are So right. we'll just tighten these down, and we'll get this mounted. And this, this goes on top of that plastic flange. We'll come back to this later in more detail. But this is the remote. They don't really show you this on the box. I couldn't find any video of it, but it can be mounted permanently in that position against the wall on the top. These settings, I guess, are, are temporary flush, eco flush, full flush, cover, seat, deodorize, and clean, okay? These are settings that would be permanent settings, I would imagine, maybe not. I don't know, because you can set your temperature dryer position massage. Now I have a total wash lid, which has actually much more control than this, but a lot of stuff you don't really need. And then a stop. And you can either set it to be screwed in permanently or where it's removable and you can hold it if you wanted to do that. We're going to come back to this. But it's, got a, it's got a foam cartridge that it rides in. Very nice. Cadillac all the way. When they say you have the Rolls Royce of toilets, well, I have the Rolls Royce of Rolls Royces over there. In the room. <laughs> All right. That's Looking nice. at this side, which we'll never get to see again because it's going to be up against the wall. There are buttons here, but you'd never know what they are unless you just had them committed to memory. This looks like maybe that's a manual flush. You can reach down there and flush. This is a filter. This is a sensor here. You know, so when it's getting pushed into a cubby yeah, hole, the other thing is, is the way this cord here is, this cord is routed out the same hole as the water line. However, my plug is on the other side, so I'm going to try to run it out that back and give me the extra space that I need. So it happens. That's right. So the way this uh, flange was sitting here, there was a gap in the cut of the tile, so we put some caulk there. 
Let's clean the area. This plug was put in. It's crooked. We haven't put that plug in. On the other side. So note, if you're ever going to put in a bidet, put the plug right next to the water line. I know that goes against your beliefs in electronics, but just put it there. It's supposed to be a GFI anyway. This is the problem in a tight spot trying to lift it up and over that flange is the trick. And it'll only go one way. Okay, it's got to be centered. Are you holding it from that uh, top area there? I'm holding it from the hole. Yeah. Where's the, why isn't it float going down? I'm going to drain down a little bit. There we go. This cardboard's in the way. That's all right. Nice. All right. Now, are we on a hole? That's the. I well, think. I, 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 I no think you, you only have. I think it would be not flush. Other ones. It doesn't want to move. Yeah, it's got to be. He wants the video of this. Well, it's fine. Oh, you don't? Okay. But, um, but I'm pretty sure that that um, you know, you just set it down on top of that. Yeah, and that looks like the right. Yeah, it looks like. And so you can see there's just enough room. Yeah. So now, this is where it gets tricky. Yeah. Okay, so these black bushings, hold on. They I'm go. I'm trying to put the water line up. They, they go in the hole. And then uh, these find their way through. Okay, so. <clears throat> need to make sure that these are bent, you know, flush out. And then this little cam system is just dumb. I'm going to try to put a piece of tape on it to hold it up because just, you know, rubber band would probably work. I don't see the point of this cam, you know, of this thing moving. I don't know. I don't know if the tape is going to matter, but. Does it take both of you to put it in? Yeah, just to make sure. Hopefully I didn't bend the flanges out too far, but by bending them out a little, it added a little bit more. See, I put my pictures of comedians in the bathroom because they usually do toilet humor. You see what I did there? Well, it's installed, so it plugged in and everything. There it is, it greets you. And now the seat would be down in case you're a sit, sit down or person, have it mounted this remote. So with this, you can hit the seat button, get the seat action, there you go. And then um, you have eco flush, very quiet. So that's a, a, you can hear it filling. Okay. And um, it's an elongated bowl, but the seat comes so forward it's more of a round bowl to me you know you can see it's an elongated seat and I've always thought that toilets should be designed with a little bit of a dam here I don't know if I'm the only one you know but I know sometimes people will pee and it splashes up and comes up over the bowl you know girls and like whatever's happening I always thought this should be a little more sealed so Kohler take note also Kohler you should have designed this thing so that it has a water filtration system cartridge that could be plugged right in, just like your refrigerator does. Because we have hard water, well water, things like that. And we're gonna put an inline water filter on this because my other bidet got damaged because of the bad water. Also, maybe you should pair, partner up with somebody like Gallade or plug in and have a built-in filter, uh, uh, you know, a cartridge I could put in that has a, a nice scent deodorizer it has a deodorizer button we can press and that turns on the fan that uh you know gets the the poots out all right let's try turn that off let's try full flush doesn't seem much different than the eco flush but that's a nice flush now obviously we can't demonstrate any of the other things unless you're sitting on it but we can adjust the water temperature so this is just a temporary setting I guess on how you want it 
Let's put it on that. Seat temperature, we'll put it on to dryer. You have to be sitting for that to happen. And then the wash, you have to be sitting on there for those to work. Now, what if I want to clean? That will self-clean the wand. So it's cleaning off both the, the wand. Just in case you got any crud on it. Right. Now, I'm not sure exactly how the self flush settings are done. I got to go through the manual. We'll take a look. But supposedly, after you've gotten up and you you leave, this thing will close itself. Oh, there it goes. It just flushed all by itself. So it just assumed you're busy. You're done doing what you're doing, and it flushed. Interesting. So I didn't, I didn't activate that. And when you leave the room, it should close up all by itself. Let's go look at the manual. All right, a few thoughts now that it's in. Now we're gonna let this caulk, we caulk that we're gonna let that dry before we use it. Maybe wait till tomorrow. Some thoughts, okay? First of all, let's look at the top of this thing. I don't think that comes off. I can't find anywhere in the manual here that this top comes off. And it just flushed itself. So if you wanted to put in something like one of these blue tablets, you wouldn't be able to do that. I don't think. Right? Also, if you need to maintenance, I, you know, I'm used to having a toilet that needs to be fixed once in a while. You gotta replace a flapper or a fill valve. There's no way to do that. So those are some things you gotta think of also. This thing won't operate unless it's plugged in if your power was out. So the average prepper probably wouldn't be interested in that. There's a lot of great features here in the manual we can look at. You know, we've talked about the things that are obvious here. But there's some things I've noticed like prolonged seating indicator. It says when it's enabled, the toilet will beep several times to let you know you've been prolonged sitting, you've been sitting too long. Hey. I'm watching TikTok videos and YouTube and stuff in here while I'm pooping. I don't need you beeping at me. So it tells you how to um, turn that off. You have an energy save mode. Um, you have the nightlight, which I like. When enabled, the nightlight automatically turns on in low lighting conditions. Press and hold the flush icon on the control panel till the nightlight blinks three times. So these are some things I'm going to do. You got the automatic flush. You have the deodorizer, cover, open, close, which I love. So I do like the concept that, you know, you 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 enter the room, right? So let's say the, the lights are off. Of course, we can't make it dark enough in here because it's in the middle of the day to close these. I don't set it off. Hold on. So that's as dark as I can get it. So we walk into the room, stand in front of the toilet. The nightlight didn't come on. Now, for for the men who stand up, we're still men. You'll have to press seat on the remote. At least you don't, so it's like you don't touch the seat, but you have to touch the remote. Um, there's no kind of foot waving action or anything like that. And then when you're finished, um, you can either press flush or you just press cover, but it'll do it on its own. When you leave, right, and then it will flush itself shortly after. That's a very quiet flush, by the way. And I'm assuming that it probably defaults to an eco flush as well. Then the deodorizer comes on for a bit. I can't wait to go to Taco Bell and murder this toilet for the first time and try out the wash. There's not an easy way for the wash to work, but I've just come up with something I could try maybe. Okay, so this is why you love this channel. There's really no way to really test this thing without sitting on it. So I'm sitting on it. So, let's try this thing out. What the hell? Live a little. When you press the rear button, the little wand comes out and it starts spraying. It takes just a, ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's nice and warm. That's nice. You can, can, so you have three dots that can control the pressure. So if I press it one more time, it reduces the pressure, reduces more, 
and it goes the other way. I'm liking the full pressure. Okay, we got position. You can adjust the position. Oh yeah. So the further back it goes, yeah, that, you don't want that. Okay, right. Yeah, that's the spot. I'm liking number three. Then you've got massage. Hey now, it's a hot date now. Let's see, what is that? It's, I guess it's going like that. I like it. Number two, I'm not sure. It just seems like it's changing uh, pulse. Number three, it's hard to tell what's going on. It's moving around. Yeah, I think it just changes how wide that moves. Water temp I have all the way on number three. That seems, it's not too hot, but it seems like it'd be too cold other than that. Then you have seat temp. I've turned seat temp way down because it was just too hot. I'm gonna put it on number one. Now, I'm not gonna do front. I don't know, let's see what happens if I do front on a guy. This could be dangerous. Front. Let's see what happens. Waiting. Not doing anything. Oh, there we go. Front seems to be also rear. Just a little more forward. It's a taint wash for you guys. Okay, how about no? Turn that off. So that's supposed to be designed for the girls. Um, there's not a whole lot going on up here that we need to talk about, but we have a dryer. We'll turn on the dryer. It's on level one. There's a hair dryer blowing up my bum. And I guess this is just the temperature, so it doesn't change the intensity. Ooh, that's warm. That gets warm really quick. That's really warm. Oh, it doesn't smell good either because it's blowing like toilet air across your butt. Okay, stop. All right. You can, uh, the deodorizer is on, which is mounted up here. You can flush, eco flush, full flush from these buttons up here. There's also a little push button down the side. Where is it? There's an electronic button and then a manual button. Where's the, oh, there's a manual button you can press back here. So that manually operates the flush mechanism. But there's also a little button, I can't do it while it's filling, but there's an electronic button back here. But the thing is, is you would not know what the buttons are. You can't see them. You would just have to guess. Or just have them programmed to memory. But you can also press the flush up here. But as soon as you get up, I said but. As soon as you get up, the cover will go down and it will flush itself. Okay, final part. I'm wearing pants. <laughs> I wasn't a minute ago. But I want to demonstrate kind of how this thing works because you have to move kind of quickly. Now, even though this thing is washing and drying, you're probably going to still want to dry yourself. Or Listen, you want to check and make sure. Just want to check and make sure. I don't think I'm ever going to not use toilet paper. I just, you know, I just want to check, make sure. How do blind people know when to stop wiping? Anyway, I want to show you what happens. The toilet. Second you stand up. Let's check it out. How long do you have to use this? Okay, we're going to show what happens when you stand up. You've got a uh, few seconds to play with your toilet paper, pull up your pants, do what you gotta do, well, it's gonna flush itself. And then, now notice how it indicated here that it gave an economy flush. I've noticed that if you're only down, it knows, check this out. If you sit down for just a few seconds, it'll give an economy flush. If you sit there for a longer period of time, it'll give a full flush. It kind of just knows based on how long you were there. It assumes if you've been there for a while, and maybe if you've operated some of these buttons, I don't know if that works in conjunction, it'll do a full flush. But a quickie, that kind of is pretty smart. So that's something that I've noticed. As you get away from it, 
Matter of fact, we'll we'll uh, we'll turn off the lights. If, would you, if you turn off the lights, the nightlight comes on. It's kind of creepy, actually. We'll turn the light back on, and we'll just hang back, and it will um, close. I think it takes up to two minutes. I'm not sure. I don't know if we want to hang out that long, but it gives you an idea of how this thing works. And you may become lazy and no longer flush the toilet because it'll just do it yourself and this might cause bad habits. But some of the things I talked about earlier um, about, you know, how do you maintenance this thing? What happens if something breaks? I mean, through home ownership, you're gonna be changing, you know, your flappers and the uh, flushing mechanism. There's no way to do that on this that I know of. So I may make a follow-up video and check into it because I'm probably gonna add a water filter to the inlet because we have pretty rough water coming out of our well and even though it's kind of filtered it, it it's it's kind of it's very hard and we have to scrub the toilet a lot so i'm concerned about you know how that's going to affect this thing later on now it does offer i'm going to interrupt this closing cycle it does offer that you can um, let me turn on this this other light here i have two lights it's a weird thing you open the seat, See? it says if you push position, I believe, position, maybe we gotta hold it. There it goes. It'll extend the little stainless steel wand and it suggests that you take a, like a toothbrush or a bristle brush and clean it, clean the crust off of it. What you could do in extreme situations is take a cup filled with CLR or something and like place it up under there. And then I guess you hit stop and it'll retract. It goes back to normal. So these are things that we're gonna look into. I decided not to screw mine down. I, I've just got it sitting here. There is a little screw that'll go up under there to hold this down. But when you tell it to close the cover, I don't know if it automatically flushes every time but sometimes. Okay, it'll only do that if you've been sitting on it, but you decide you wanna flush it, you just get it. So that's the video of the unit so far. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna find out if, well, if you try to walk up to it, it's gonna open. I don't know if you can take that top off. I'm gonna look into it, we'll find out. There may be a follow-up video. Thanks for watching my video on the color Jaro, made for Costco. Hope you found it informative. I know it was a long video, but if you're going to spend up to $2,000 on putting in a new toilet, I think it's good you watch. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Video Pop. <laughs>